The anti-Wall Street protests have made it to Northeast Wisconsin. They're happening all around the country, but they started in New York's financial district. Some protesters are clashing with police, and there have been some arrests. But it appears the demonstrations have been picking up momentum recently. Now, this afternoon, more than 60 protesters hit the streets of Northeast Wisconsin in Green Bay. And as Fox 11's Becky DeVries explains, not everyone agrees with the message. Tonight, we have balanced coverage. The people united will never be divided. People upset about the government, politics, and corporations gathered on the streets of downtown Green Bay. I want to support the people that are saying we've got to make some changes. I'm worried about middle class people and their ability and their children's ability to, to work their way up to become middle class citizens. And people here in northeastern Wisconsin are fed up, uh, just like uh, those across the country as corporations and banks get bailed out. We're protesting corporate greed. We're protesting the two party system. System. You know, the system's not working for us. The working class. The demonstration's organizer says the group is fighting corporate control of the country's political system. But when asked about the main goal of the protest, he didn't offer specifics. Many goals. There's too many to just name one. They don't have any moral authority in what they're saying because they're trying to. The only, the only reason they have a street to stand on is because of taxes from businesses. After a few hours of demonstrating, the crowd dwindled to about 15. One man stood across the street making a presentation of his own. If all these corporations and all these banks are doing such bad things to people, they could very easily, in our system and the way of life that we have here in the United States, create their own corporation, create their own business and undercut them all. Definitely, uh, standing here in Green Bay, we know is having an impact, and we know that uh, the corporations and banks are paying attention, and we're not going anywhere, and we're going to continue to have demonstrations. And now, the group protesting in Green Bay said they would be back downtown tomorrow afternoon to protest again. Another group has scheduled an Occupy Appleton demonstration for tomorrow morning.